welcome to learn new technology in this video we are going to see how we can run our automation stack from microsoft azure devops this is our project in visual studio this project we have uploaded in microsoft azure devops so these are the dependencies we have added in our project So we need to add this tag publish chrome driver true so we need to add this tag if you're going to run our script from uh, azure devops we need to add this tag then only uh, this then only the script will be uploaded with the chrome driver then it will be successfully we can run the script from azure devops so here this is our project so our organization is fsh antony so here we need to click on organization settings then we need to go to agent pools so we need to select this one then we need to select default so we need to click on new agent so here we can click on download button so uh, so it will give you the agent after you download you need to place it in our system c drive so c drive so here i have placed my agent files so before you run the script you need to launch this one then it will automatically connect to the server after that you need to run the run your script so it will give you the information whether it's connected to the server or not let's wait for that it's connecting now yeah we got it now it's listening for the jobs so this is our organization this is our project so we need to click on project then propose so here we can see the our, our project files now we are going to see how to run our automation script from Azure DevOps. Let's start the process now. So here we need to click on new pipeline button to create the new pipeline. So here we need to select use the classic editor. Then our code is team foundation server. So we have selected that option. Then we need to select here uh, ASP.NET Core. Then we need to click on this apply button. So here uh, we can give the name. Then here we need to select the default option. Then here we can change the agent name. Next to here also we can make it as default. Then this one uh, we can remove it. Then we have selected built. Here we need to make small update hyphen hyphen then no restore the next to publish for this one also we need to make a change no built then we need to uncheck these checkboxes then let's check it out uh, here uh, no need to change any change then we can click on save and queue so let's wait for the job is running now so initialize uh, section is completed 
now it's working on checkout demo so let's wait let's wait for the process completed now it's in resource section next uh, it will be built section so logs are generated for our future uh, future reference we can refer these logs then next we are in build section so these logs also will be saved in the files so the next section will be publish so now it's uh, moved on to publish section uh, now it's moved to publish artifact now it's in posting job checkout so we need to click on this then so these are the files that we have uploaded in our azure devops So the status is uh, success now we need to click on edit button so here we can update few changes so we need to click on plus icon then we need to select uh, vs studio this is studio test so it's been moved to left hand side now here we can make the change as per our requirement so demo then here we need to you know the our project name we need to update here so this is our project project name is single page so here we need to give the name as single project single page dot dll then it will directly fetch from the DL from there. Next, let's let's check it out whether do we need to change any change. So here we need to change. You know, there is a change is required. I guess. Okay. Then next. Oh, here we need to change the option will be based on test assemblies otherwise it will you know our test will be running twice then that's all I guess uh, let's save it and uh, run it so it started running Now it's in publish section, publish artifacts also completed. It's in VS test section. So once uh, these sections completed, the browser will be launched. Let's wait for that. Publish artifact mode on to VS test. So logs are generating and it's being updated in the backend. So for our previous as for our reference, we can refer those things.
so these are the test cases passed test case one two three four so the uh, it's launched the browser and logged into the portal so let's wait for the result uh, test case uh, five and six also passed So it's going to complete now. It's completed. So these are jobs. So here we need to click on test. So here we can see the test results. So seven tests were passed. So here we can see the test results. The test case names. But if I log in test one, two, three, four, five. Then so so here uh, how many test cases we have one oh here we are. let's make the change so we want to make fail one test case let's see how the results is reflecting in Azure DevOps so let's check in changes so we want to want to be updated in the in our Azure DevOps that's why we are committing this changes from local so let's go to the code so here it might be updated so it's updated so the test case one is going to get failed now let's check it out then let's go to pipelines So we need to click on new pipeline. So let's go through the classic editor. So our code is in team foundation server. So here we need to select ASP.NET core. Then we can change the name. As per our requirement, so now we are going to update. So here we need to select a default option. So there is nothing to do there. Next, we will click on Agent Job One. Then we can make the change about the name as per our requirement. So we can customize the name next to here also we need to change as default then we need to select the restore i think restore we don't do anything there then let's remove the tests then we will select build so here we need to change few changes hyphen hyphen no then restore then let's move on to publish so here we will change few change hyphen hyphen no then build then i think we can oh we need to rem uncheck the checkbox then public artifacts so click save and queue so click on save button so it started it's in the queue so logs are generating let's wait until the process completed now it's on restore section check our demo section is completed so now it will move on to build section from restore section so now it's move on to build section so the next section will be published 
where it will be published the result next uh, publish artifacts that is also completed now let's move on to post job check it out then next uh, it's completed i guess so we have clicked on the pipeline then we need to click on we need to add the task bs then we need to select visual studio test so it will be added then here we need to give our project name so in our project name single page so let's give the project name as single page so it's updated now so one more change that we need to make sure that is advanced execution option so here we need to make it as based on test assembles otherwise you know so our test uh, script will be run twice so this is the right one based on test assemblies should be there then let's run our job so it started now so the logs also started generating it's in the store section so it's going to move on build sections so now it's move on to publish section so publish artifacts also completed yes test so it's going to complete now let's wait for the result so now it's in bs test section so now it's going to move on to post job checkout so here our uh, test case the first test case is failed so uh, browser is launched and the website also loaded so it's maximized now username password entered and the submit button is also clicked so it, we got into the dashboard so it will be closed as per our script so the first one got failed the remaining test cases are got passed so until test case 6 it got passed except test case 1 uh, okay let's wait for that so let in yes test section also it's marked as a uh, failed so let's go to job so we need to click on test so here one test case got failed so here test case 1 it, it is marked as uh, failed then other test cases are passed so it is marked as uh, marked with the tick sign so like likewise we can uh, run our script from azure devops so remaining test cases are passed so here we can find as marked with the tick symbol so here expected to but was 21 it was mentioning 